Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Bert's here playing some F1 Manager 2023. We are in our second season, the 2024 season, in game. Continuing on. Round one didn't do didn't go so well, unfortunately. Uh, that's all right. We still got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. Let's go ahead and check the calendar. We are gonna have a new ATR period coming up here soon. Uh, for this next weekend, so let's go ahead and jump into that actually and we're close to getting our side pod design 3 done So that's definitely gonna help us out. So let's go ahead and skip ahead here And that side pod is done. So let's go ahead and manufacture that Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be a nice boost And Yeah, we're just doing the suspension stuff for now so actually we have both we have the side pod too on both cars. And this is gonna be a much better gain for sure. So let's go ahead and do four of these. I'm not how, not sure how much more we're gonna uh, develop the side pod. But we'll go ahead and kind of make four of these just to have two extra. We're probably going to need more in the future as well, but we don't want to spend too much money currently. So let's go ahead and confirm that project. And once the new ATR period kicks off, I believe... Yeah, I don't think we have any new points currently. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to get a new period here soon, so we'll wait until we get more points, and then we will start to develop the car further. Let's go ahead and jump ahead here. Looks like we got a message in our inbox to check out. Yes, we know the suspension is in low stock as well as the old side pods, but we're manufacturing new ones currently, so that is all right. Let's check how our driver development is going along. Nice to see. Theo is improving as well. So is Richard. Nice work, nice work. And our reserve driver, Zane, doing pretty well also in the development category. Good to see. Everyone's improving all the way around. Looks like we've got to switch our pit crew training schedule. Looks like we got a busy, eh, just two, two race weekends for this next period, so not too much. But if we have them on this training regime, we will have a higher chance of mistake, unfortunately. So, we do fatigue reduction. We're gonna drop off a little bit here, but we're gonna minimize our chance of mistakes. So let's see if we can get the car release and used tires off a little bit better. Let's add a day this weekend, I suppose. Pit stop drill, tires off. Pit stop drill, tires off. So that didn't really give us much change. Let's try it again here. There we go, tires off. And let's do another pit stop drill, but let's do car release. There we go, that's pretty good. And I think we can do a third day here. Balanced, balanced. I do like this. So we're gonna increase our attributes a little bit. We're gonna minimize our chance of mistake. And we're going to improve our car building. So let's actually leave it here. I think that's pretty solid approach there for the pit crew. And we'll back. Actually, let's go ahead and tab to click on Toby. And let's double check everyone or his training focus. So leadership and training or processes for sure. So leadership and training it looks like. And what's our processes? The ability to develop and refine efficient workflows. Higher than reading list of two opinions. So let's actually focus on leadership and processes. And I don't think we can actually. So I guess let's do training and processes. All right, let's go ahead and skip ahead to this new ATR period. And there we go, look at that. Improvement already. And the new ATR period starts today, so let's not waste any time. Let's jump straight into it, get a new design going. I don't think we've designed a new underfloor, and that's going to be a huge benefit for us. 
So let's design a new underfloor, and we'll do another one as well. Undo, let's see, 30 something. There you go, 38. So it gives us a big buff all the way here. Do we want to put any more into it? You know what? Let's just dump everything in and on the floor right now, actually. Let's do a full underfloor build right now. It does improve us a little bit. Not as much as we'd like, though. So let's actually cancel this and let's see if we can get a better improvement somewhere else. I know we were going to potentially do the suspension towards brake cooling. Let's see how this helps us out. So we're still losing a bit on the drag reduction for the suspension, but we're gaining a lot in the brake cooling. Hmm, so let's cancel this actually. Let's try the rear wing. I know the rear wing is going to be beneficial. What about the front wing actually? Front wing might prove to be a bit better for the dirty air tolerance, which is good. But we want to improve our top speed mainly, I think. 17th and low speed. So that's definitely going to increase our low speed for sure, but not our top speed. We want to split the period with the front and rear wing. Or do all in on one or the other. So this is going to help out substantially. Top speed for sure and the dirtier air tolerance. But not low speed which is what we're going to want as well. So let's cancel that. Let's actually go back to underfloor. Let's see what the underfloor gives us. And the rank on grid improvement. So we're going to gain some spots in the top speed, but not in the low speed. So let's do the let's do let's do a rear wing focus here. Let's split it between rear and front wing, I think. And let's change the focus. Let's see. So if we change this here, we're going to lose a bit on the high speed. But we're gaining quite a bit on the low speed, which, I, which I'm kind of looking at here. What we're losing the high speed element here. I think let's do a high speed approach with the rear wing and then a low speed approach with the front wing. I believe that's going to give us probably the maximum benefit there. Let's go ahead and get this to in development. Let's do an intense approach. It's going to be four and a half million or 4.3, which I think is okay because then we're going to have a greater boost for future designs. And let's go ahead and get a front wing in development also with the remaining points that we have. Yep, this is going to be pretty nice, I believe. Let's do a low speed approach here. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way to go. Let's give this a shot. Five engineers do an intense approach. We can't afford the intense approach. It's going to be 4.8 for the front wing development. We could do a rushed approach. Faster completion time. 
Let's see, 22 days. So we'll have quite a break between that and Baku. So let's actually just do a normal approach for this one. And that should do it for the development here. And hopefully we can, we need to save a little bit of money now that we've got some new parts in development and we need to try to upgrade some of these facilities. I know the condition is beginning to degrade a bit, you can see here, um, but instead of refurbishing, I think we need to try to upgrade them if possible. Cause that's gonna give us bigger buffs uh, on our car design. And that's something we definitely need. Let's go ahead and hit continue here. Oh, we got our first email that requires our response. They spoke with the board and they're concerned about the team's poor performance. When can they expect better results? Do we want to take a risk and say, hey, you know what, the next Grand Prix, we're gonna do much better or, you know, just say in time. In time, we're gonna get a little bit better. I think let's click this, let's be, let's be safe here. Let's be a little safe here. Looks like, do we have... I believe we can add the new suspension to car number two. And we sure can. Let's go ahead and install that. It's gonna help us out a bit there. And I believe we're gonna need to help out our brake cooling here. Here soon enough, I believe. We don't have any of the new side pod, which is okay. And that's it really, side pod and suspension. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and jump ahead to the race weekend finally. And it's gonna prompt us to select our race performance targets. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna need to edit our quality position streak again. I have a feeling we're gonna have to keep doing this one every single race and until our boys can get comfortable in the car. Um, Q3 with one of our drivers gonna be tricky Q2 with one Let's try to get both to 15th. Hopefully And we definitely need to improve our quality positions. Dale's doing pretty well qualified 11th that first round Mr. Richard needs to improve a little bit here We need him jumping up and punching a little heavier We need to be battling for those you know, that 9 and 10 slot in the points. We can do that quickly here. Looks like after the first race, the board's already uh, already wary of our, of our management. So we can't have that. We gotta keep it cruising, keep the ship sailing smooth, keep the car developing as best we possibly can, and keep some of those other teams behind us. Jetta. Saudi Arabia jump right into it here uh, we'll go ahead and time-lapse these practice sessions and I will bring you right back when we jump into qualifying <laughs>
something that has to be done.
Welcome back, everyone. Practice over. Unfortunately, Theo crashed out P1. Sad to see. Had to replace quite a few components already on the boy's car. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that's the one and only <laughs> crash out he will have. But I have a feeling that's not going to be the case, unfortunately. But let's keep trucking along. Definitely gonna have to purchase some new components a bit later, but kept it clean the rest of the session. Got both of the boys super close to 100% across the board. Got Richard 100% um, across the board for sure. Theo got 98%. Um, super close on the braking stability. I'm actually gonna try and see if we can get that 100 here. I'm just gonna go back. Let's go back one to that 0.05, and I think that's gonna do it. And let's actually go ahead and swap out some better units for the quality and race sessions. We don't have another ERS, unfortunately, for Theo, so we're definitely going to have to buy another one of those. And let's go ahead and... It's actually, yeah, let's just go to that 100% unit, I think. Let's just keep cycling around with those brand new units. Hopefully the, that doesn't screw us over uh, if one of these boys gets in an incident. But we're just going to take that gamble and see what happens. And let's go ahead and simulate these quality sessions and see where the boys end up. Fingers crossed. Yikers. Richard, not doing too well in the quality. Not showing good quality pace, unfortunately. Theo's in P13 there. Let's see if he can have another good quality session like he did the first race and maybe get into that quality three session uh, not quite p14 unfortunately p14 Just boys not off to a good start not showing me uh that we potentially made a good decision getting rid of our old drivers but you never know it's still early on we're still gonna keep trucking along and see how let's see how we can end this season but we got a long way to go keep the car development going you already know we're going to develop the heck out of the car. We need to upgrade the facilities further, but we need to make some more money. We need the money. Show me the money. Team checking things over one last time, making sure everything's set up right for the night race in Saudi Arabia. Because hopefully there's not too much sand on the track. Hopefully the wind stays down. We can have a clean race. Uh, let's actually back out here and check the sponsor. Should we do a position gain? 13th and 19th. Sure, why not? You know, let's just let's see what happens on that one. So we're definitely not going to get this because Richard dropped out in P20, unfortunately. And let's get the strategy set up. I definitely want to be on an aggressive strategy. Medium, soft. It's about the same. We want to be on the soft medium. Potentially the medium soft so we can push a bit harder. We want to do the medium hard on an aggressive strat. Let's give that a shot, I suppose. With old Theo there. Hopefully that works out in our favor. And let's do the medium soft here, just the OG way with Richard. And let's go ahead and bump up to extra fuel. And it does look like we got Theo to 99%, so we were so close getting that 100 Super close. So since we set up the pace for aggressive, let's leave it at that aggressive mode. And let's do the same for Richard here. And hopefully 
This is going to give us a good shot to gain some positions. We really need to start moving up the grid here. Hopefully the boys can get more comfortable. I did get, I mean, they are now 100% comfortable with the car itself. So hopefully that will start to show with some better results. Maybe get that race craft up. I know this is their first season, but they're under a lot of pressure. We're going to have to see how they do. If they don't perform well for us this season, we might have to drop them and make a whole new change next season. We'll see, we'll see. Still pretty early on, still a long way to go. Jump into this, round two, Jetta. Lights out. Let's jump on both. Actually, let's watch, uh, let's watch this view here with uh, Mr. Theo. Let's go ahead and get the ERS battle assist going before I forget. Okay, wrap up mode, push. Copy. Yeah, let's see what tires everyone else are on. I got a mixed grid, medium soft. Let's we'll stay on this strategy here. Yeah, it looks like the, some boys behind us are getting pretty racy. We gotta uh, stay with that group up front. Looks like the Williams and the Alpine are showing some strong start of season pace. Same thing with the McLaren of Norris. Definitely getting racy here. Norris is a great driver. Maybe somebody to think about. We might need to maybe scout him. Maybe think about sneak. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Red flag. Ah. Oh, oh my gosh. Holy cow. Why? We were just talking about it. And we saw it happen live. That is not good. Norris just said, get out of my way, rookie. And shoved him off. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I do believe Theo is going to be retiring from the GP. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, not good. Not good at all. So, uh, we are. We do have a chance to swap tire if we want. We could go to a hard, rock it out for a bit, and then go to a soft later on, and hopefully track position pays off for us. Or switch to. A brand new set of mediums and stick to our original strategy with which might be a better option let's go with that and Richard is gonna be our sole survivor oh my goodness oh yeah yeah not off to a good start not off to a great start at all <laughs> oh, crap Jump on board here with Richard. And we still got the battle assist going. We have plenty of fuel to burn now, that is for sure. Ay, ay, ay. Not looking good for Theo already. Maybe we should have brought him in as a reserve. Ay, ay, ay. Not good, not good to see. We're definitely gonna need to scout some new drivers, I think, just to have, have a uh, reserve ready just in case. I think we're gonna have to scout the likes of Norris, maybe, maybe Valtteri, maybe Ricciardo, make them the honorary American, put them on the American team. Oh, not good. Not good start. Let's hopefully Richard can bring the team some better results here. Let's go ahead and bump the speed up because this is one we're gonna want to just get through as quick as we can. Move on to the next one. Let's go ahead and bring the battery back down here. Oh, Theo, and it doesn't look like 
Norris is going to pick up a penalty, so they're going to deem that a racing incident. Oof. Yikers. Yikers, indeed. And Richard is falling back. He's not really staying with the group in front. What did everyone... So the two in front of us are on the soft, but K-Mag is on a medium. And they're all lapping a little bit slower than we are. We're lapping about the same as Ricardo, roughly. And it does look like we're about lapping the same. Well, let's hopefully Richard can get into a groove and pick the pace up. Maybe catch the cars in front. And it looks like the strategy for us has reset so let's go ahead and edit here add new and we're gonna add a new stint of course and oh actually we're gonna go softs Let's go a bit further out here. I know it says we're going to lose tire, but I just I'm going to switch the tire pace here, so that should change for us here, and we should be all set. So let's go ahead and do that. Select it, and that should be good to go. Jump back into the race here. And let's see. Can I edit the strategy again? I can't because we're currently on this hard setting. Or, I'm sorry, this uh, faster pace uh, stint there. But we are not currently on a fast pace, so it might be okay. You can see where tire life is creeping up, so it should be good to go with the strategy and tire pace we are currently on. But let's definitely continue to burn some of this fuel off, and we're dropping off pretty far now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and speed this up and try to just power through this one. We are catching Piastri, but it looks like him and K-Mag are battling it out. There's a little DRS train. It looks like Yuki just got past the Alpha Tauri of Ricardo, which was potentially holding everyone up. But Ricardo is showing a fight, battling back. And we are now catching Piastri. We are now in the DRS train. So, we got P15, we're all fighting for right here. And we are going to have some pit stops coming in soon from Piastri and Yuki and Ricardo. So, let's go ahead and bump the pace up here to aggressive. And see if we can capitalize on these pit stops whenever they occur. Bring this back down to standard. Alrighty, now we have some pit stops have been made. Looks like... Okan and Yuki. And Ricardo is still out there on the soft. Same thing with Piastri. But let's see, they are lapping about the same as we are, but they could potentially be holding us up here. Yeah, K Mag out in front of Piastri there. On a 51% set of mediums, we got a 48%. Should be in pretty decent standing, I believe, here. We are, if we do have, oh, they're running low on fuel. Almost caught me slipping. Gotta be careful there. Let's see if Ricardo or Piastri come in on this uh, lap to pit for new tires. If they do, we need to attack. Maybe not attack, maybe push the battery a bit, potentially. Yep. Box. So, pantry box. Excellent work. Let's deploy a bit here. So, mode push. Copy. And Ricardo's definitely going to have to come in as well. Hey, Mag. May not be pitting. We'll probably be on a similar strategy as we will be on. Go 
go ahead and actually let's wait a second here. Let's get around this uh, last little hairpin. Give it a little nice sweeping. And there we go. Go ahead and bring the battery back down. Tires are a bit warm still, but that is all right. Because the two Alpha Towers are fighting each other currently. Oh, K Max, slipping by. Ricardo is definitely dropping some tire life here, but Ricardo is definitely going to have to pit, I believe, if he wants to cover up the Astri. And let's see if Richard. Nope, not quite being. Oh, here we go. Can he get on the inside? He sure can. Nice work there, Mr. Richard. For sure. His uh, abbreviation is pretty interesting. <laughs> I'm guessing they didn't obviously do BER because that is a first step in. So it's pretty tough to. Yeah, I guess that is his uh, little abbreviation, RVE. And we have a little bit longer here on the tire. We got K Mag in front. And then speed this up a bit to four speed. So Ricardo came out about a second or so behind Piastri. And it looks like K Mag just got past Ocon somehow. Or actually, Ocon just got past us, unfortunately. And we are now in our pit window. K Mag is creeping away for sure. As Ocon is creeping away. I think let's go ahead and push aggressive here. See if we can stay with K Mag and see what he does on his pit stop. Looks like everyone behind us came in for the mediums, but we're going to be going to the softs here. And we got two more laps. Two more laps. And K-Mag just came into pit. So actually, let's go ahead and bring Richard in. Yeah, let's jump on board here with him for the pit stop and hopefully all goes well and we can jump back out in front of K-Mag. It's going to be a tricky situation indeed. And I don't want to push on the fuel. We want to keep that. It's definitely going to be tight. It's going to be tight coming out in front of K-Mag there. Hopefully we can come out in front of Ricardo as well, but it's going to be tricky. We shall see, and here we go. Moment of truth. I'm arriving. Coming in hot. Copy. And you can see the grip here behind us. Norris is definitely going to come past. And Noda, uh, definitely. Oh, going to be tight. Yeah, I think they're going to get out in front, unfortunately. 3.6. Not good. And we're right. definitely coming out behind that pack. No bueno. And we are very three some odd seconds in front of us, unfortunately. But let's push the tack here and leave the battery wide open. See if we can make a tiny bit of ground up. Got the tires up in temperature. We are burning the batteries. Let's go ahead and bring that back a bit. And we're about three seconds away from them now. Or at least K-Mag. 
Oh, Gasly had a pit stop issue. Let's see what happened here. Uh-oh. Looks like everything went pretty smoothly, but we're waiting for something. Looks like uh, maybe they were in a group of people that were coming out all at the same time. Let's go ahead and bring the pace back down to standard here. And let's go ahead and speed this back up. See if we can catch back up to that group. we got 20 laps to go. Let's speed this up to 16 here. Let's just push through, push onward. Albon had a pit stop issue there, it looked like. Just missed it. Check casters on the mediums. k is already down to 75% on his soft. And we are catching them slowly, but looks like maybe P16 is probably going to be the best we can do. Looks like we overtook Ricardo there. Let's see what happened. Oh, alrighty. Nice little group here. Little outside inside switch over. Nice work. Showing a little bit of race craft there. And we are now leading that little group. Let's see if we can push away, but that's gonna be tricky. We got Piastri. Piastri to battle with here. Maybe Piastri and I can leapfrog each other and pull away from the other two. Got 10 laps to go here. Go ahead and go aggressive for a couple of laps. And Yuki is about three and a half seconds or so in front. Push on the fuel a little bit here as well. We might be able to catch Yuki here for 15th. Five laps remaining. Let's go ahead and go back to standard. Bring the fuel back. Bring it back down to eight here. I'm about three seconds away. I don't think we're gonna catch Yuki. He's a bit far away. Yeah, he's on some medium. So our soft are just definitely starting to run out. But we are on low fuel. About three seconds away from the guys behind us. So that's pretty good. So P16 for Richard. So Richard seems to have some decent race pace and race craft, but he just doesn't seem to be a good qualifier. Very interesting. And Theo seems to be the opposite <laughs> so far. Doing pretty decent in quali, minus crashing out in practice one. And, you know, kind of just flunking it in the race. And we're not going to catch Yuki there, but we are clear of the group behind us. So that's good to see. We are steering clear of the people behind us. He did a fantastic job. Yeah, it was good, right? Good job, Richard. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Theo got some work to do, for sure. Richard did pretty well. Richard showing us some pretty decent results so far. Pretty decent results so far, indeed. Let's see. He jumped four positions. See, he's 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 got some racecraft. Richard has some racecraft. And it looks like McLaren is going to definitely pull away in that P6 and the Constructor so far. Already got 8 points. Already got 8 points. Lando is crushing it. We need to see if we can pick him up. Williams doing okay. Haas, yeah. Not good. Not good so far. Well, that's going to do it, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, it was not a good one for me, but you know, we'll keep trucking along get back at it Start upgrading everything and just you know, keep our heads down stay focused Drop a like drop a comment subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one